All right, Bobby, this is the tank right here. I thought you would uh, like this. So, uh, you know, I got some angelfish. Got some stuff right there, man. It kind of pulsates a little bit. You got some turf up here. You know, that lava rock that's in here. Um, you know, it used to be this color, you know, just base rock, but like all this stuff, you know, grows on it after a while, if you got a good environment for it. And then this is the, uh, the sump, and this is the protein skimmer that, you know, those bubbles in the column, all that stuff, you probably watched that video. There's my sump, I got some, uh, you know, live rock right here, just some base rock for some nitrifying bacteria. And then uh, I got a, uh, this is called an algae scrubber. This is pretty new technology. The newest technology I can think of is kind of through the light on. You know, algae grows. It's a controlled environment for hours to grow. So that can be food for the fish, little bugs grow in there and stuff. I can take it off and, you know, feed these guys if I want to. I'll let it grow for a few more days. It's probably about two days of growth right there. And uh, I got a light on it all the time in here because I want to grow some of that <coughs> algae in here. And then, um, you know, it, the, the water comes down. Then I got these little uh, rocks back here. There's like a little mesh over them so bugs can grow on those and the hermit crabs that are down here can't eat them. And then um, on my particular tank, uh, I had a plumber put in a little thing right here. The exit out to my house. It was like a hundred bucks. So if I add water up here to the display tank, you know, it overflows into the gravity. I don't know why I got a cup there. It overgrows into the gravity right here. And uh, so I just add water here, you know, five gallons, and the sump will raise, but then it goes out that drain out of my house. So it's real easy to do water changes. Um, other than that, I got a couple of return pumps. I don't know how good you can see that. And I got some fish and, uh, you know, live sand. And I got all kinds of hermit crabs. And, you know, I cleaned the glass with uh, a, uh, hold on. It's like a decent, you know, magnet, pretty strong one. But I also, uh, you know, I use that thing's a magnet, kind of floats if you mess up. I kind of move stuff in my tank with this. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't really use that at all. I use my hand, but sometimes it's nice if I can't reach all the way down there. And then I have this device here I use a lot. This has a, it's a plastic thing and it has this on it. More importantly, it has this little, it has this, uh, scrape the inside of the glass which man no matter what you do dude you gotta end up scraping that stuff you know and over here you can see where it hadn't been done because that cause the rocks in the way so that's probably months of growth right there but it'll look real clear and I uh, I got to put alkalinity in I got to put buffer in sometimes and put calcium in this is a reef dick if you buy something you dip it in here first getting kind of parasites off then I feed the uh, corals with some phytoplankton, maybe a cap once every few days. And that's about it, man. I just got water motion, this right here. These lights are pretty sick. Um, I don't know how well the video does, but this light's pretty pretty awesome. They, uh, if you can look underneath, they look like this. Kind of looks in our phones. And they will shimmer. Um, close that. A shimmer which is a pretty good look all right dude hope you enjoyed it